land management is a long-term process of trying to uh, restore the land to a native condition. We engage in a large range of management projects from um, noxious weed control to native tree and shrub planting to erosion control for wildlife benefit primarily. I'm going to be spraying uh, a number of noxious weed species. We're talking about highly invasive non-native species that disrupt uh, and, and damage native ecosystems. There's a number of control strategies that we use to control noxious weeds. Uh, the most obvious is chemical herbicide applications, and that's what I'm doing here today. We also engage in mechanical control, which typically involves mowing uh, of these uh, non-native weed species. And in some cases, we're able to release uh, beneficial insects. We call that biocontrol. We release these insects in the hopes that they will help control the species by either uh, eating them in some cases or in other cases uh, actually just uh, disrupting seed production and slowing the rate of, of, uh, of spread of these species. This is the gun. This thing is a, is a killer. Very accurate, a lot of pressure, works great. I like killing weeds. The infestations on this property of scotch thistle and leafy spurge and Canada thistle and knapweed are all substantially less than what they were just five years ago. I'm not spraying the whole field, I'm just looking for the, the target species that we have here. Scotch thistle, musk thistle, diffuse knapweed, poison hemlock, leafy spurge, I typically spray that in the fall. All it takes is a few drops. You know, backpacking, honestly, it, you don't get as much done because you're just carrying four gallons instead of 32. But there's a, it has a zen-like quality to it. It's just you and the weeds and your thoughts. You can see the evidence of our success last year. See, this is a, a scotch thistle, and you can see kind of the curl. Again, that's the same thing that this herbicide does. It causes the plant to stop growing, and it kind of curls and withers and dies. And this field was used to be full of scotch thistles. I take it very personally. This is last year's poison hemlock. It's dead now. Uh, I would say every one of our properties is in better shape now than it was three years ago, five years ago. I think without exception we've made a lot of progress.